What's going on, everybody? Pause here and welcome back to another episode of Anna's Quest, where we have to find three goddamn welcome items. It's going to be ridiculous just to save our grandpa. On you. And also on you, maybe? Oh my god, we got so much here. We got a door. But it doesn't seem to have any handles or whatnot to open it with. You just gotta believe. Oh, there's a busy painting over there. It's a bunch of people looking a bit crazy. They're all fighting each other. I'm going to talk with him. I just want to quickly... There's those windows again. There's an organ. Serene paintings. Sad painting. Portrait painting. No, it looks good. Such a serious looking man. Just sitting there, writing with his quill. Being serious. <laughs> all right. There. Let's talk uh, with uh, the Grace, father. Sir? Your Holiness? Oh, dear child. No, no, please. Theodore will suffice. The name sorry, is Theodore, it's though. I'm in a church, but it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you, too, young one. Your church is beautiful, Theodore. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. <laughs> Indeed it is. But, alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it, so to speak and caring for all the people who come seeking the red dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the glass mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. I simply stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important, with or without her. With or without her. All right, so you say the dragon stood for something you important. What? Dragon stood for something What's so important? important? Oh, very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see... Her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared, but then grandpa laughed because it was just a tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The L Lord of Dark? Oh, yes. The Lord of Dark. He's known for his many names and many guises. But be not afraid, for thanks to the Red Dragon, we're all safe. Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see. His trickery contained. Oh, thank God. I've learned something, okay? You have to talk and use all, like, the speech bubbles that they have. Otherwise, you're going to, like, miss out on something uh, important. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years, I've looked for a means to open it. But for years, it has remained closed. This place was built entirely for the love of the red dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here, somewhere, before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. Be my guest, young one. Clues? Oh, God. Uh... Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. I have no idea of what course, freaking clues one. to look for, the though. Stars be with you. And also with you. Can we go mess with the church organ? Telekinesis isn't really needed here, I don't think. Well... I don't know. That seems kind of dangerous. Only I could make it sound this bad. I have no idea what I'm doing. Only 
Huh, there has to be something here, right? Serene painting. No, it look Hmm. It looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle, and everyone around them is just watching them, like they are in awe. Huh, but what? Hmm. She's reaching to this lady, but the lady is just looking away and ignoring her. Hmm. It's sealed shut. Very thick and heavy looking, too. I wonder how it's opened. With telekinesis! Mm. Hmm. Seems this door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. Uh, I don't know what to do then, it's man. Cheerful look uh... Is there anything here? I really don't know if there's like an actual tune we're supposed to like. Did theater have Hello, anything to say? Hello, yeah. Did you say that? I, yeah. Alas, for many gen. For years, this place was built in time, but. Ooh, as a. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. All right. Be my guest, young one. So Big clues. windows at the back clues, are so, clues, clues. so pretty. Oh, yeah. They can. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, no. Can you tell me about the sad? Can you tell me about the sad-looking painting on the right. Yes, uh, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Winterhorn, and the girl, her very own. Daughter, little is known Jeez. of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> what about the busy about one? The busy looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great powers were at odds, none could maintain order. Ah, uh, what about the serene about one? The serene painting. It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Oh my, so we got the busy, the serene. The man in the portrait. Who's the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt, a direct descendant of the great witches and a crucial part the, of the Void or whatever. History. That name sounds familiar. It was it's... Philip who created uh... the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to was vanish. Wasn't the, the dark. storybook like Void or whatever? It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power it cost him his own life. As he summoned the red dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh, wow. What a brave, selfless man. A shrine deep in Vundahorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. I know where I've seen him before. <gasps> in my page, in my, yeah, the picture, the picture. Oh, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Uh. It's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be... It's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed, it is her. As a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just... vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. All right, is sad. All right, Theodore. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The I really, really you. don't think there is anything else for us here. Uh, we tried that. I should try something. Else. I'm not sure. I should. I just want to quickly ensure. Hmm. 
I'll just maybe this is okay. Cool. Let's uh let's leave. Does Ben have anything to say? We've learned quite a bit. Ben. Hi, Ben. Oh. I found the magician. I found the magician. Well, sorceress. I found her, and she can make the cure. But it's complicated. Apparently, it's not a sickness. It's a curse. A curse? Oh dear. Who would do that to your grandpa? Winfrida? No. Maybe. I don't know. But I'll need some time to find all the things needed to break it. Of course. Of course. Take as long as you need. Uh... Right. We also... Where was that? The family portrait. Let's see what Ben says about it this. Is. Really? Yep. I showed it to the minister in the church because he knows all about magic and stuff. That's Philip and his daughter Yannicka, who went on to become queen. Queen? Oh, right. But now, now Yannicka is missing, and no one knows why. So I've been thinking, Winfrida, she must have been involved in it somehow. Are you okay? You seem a bit troubled. Well, it's just when I thought I recognized them. I guess it's probably not because I knew her. It's because everyone knew her. Oh, yes, I see. I, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Ben. Poor You'll Ben. Remember more sooner or later. I'm sure of it. I seriously hate Ben, though. Uh, let's. Do you really think? Maybe really let's ask. Winfrida we have to ask him, right? My grandpa ill. Why would she hurt grandpa though? Unless, unless she wanted me to leave the farm. If somehow she knew I had this power. Uh huh. She would want you to leave so she could kidnap you. I think you're onto something here. But why not just come into the farm? Why not just kidnap me there? Hmm. All right. All right. Guess I better get back out there. Fuck okay. you, Ben. Good luck. I don't know what else to do. Hello again, sir. Evening again, little miss. You found that wizard friend of yours? Yes, sir. I did. He, well, she was in the alley after all. So thank you. Aye. Well, now you see. Now I need to find a lake behind the mill. Somewhere. Maybe he knows. The mill is straight behind this here tavern, and then past that. Is them their woods. Great. Them their woods. Okay, Those woods are probably dangerous though, right? Uh oh. Um, What's he saying? Sorry? He says to hold on, little miss. Not so hasty. Really? All of that? Do you really hear what he's saying? Because to me. Aye, those there woods, protected by old magic they are. Folks going out there, they need themselves a good guy, see. The blacksmith, he's one, but he's been away a while now. And then there's this fellow Gil. Wetting his lips here. Oh. I see. <laughs> then, hello there, sir. Hmm. Is he gonna help us, this drunken old bastard? Working hours are up for Gil today, though. And now he's started at the bar. Well, so long as there's beer for him, he ain't going nowhere. But this is a tavern. He must have a lifetime of beer. Aye. Hmm. Okay. Now, is there a way for us to shut this beer off? Then, can we possibly? Ah, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I can just drain all the beer. That will get Gil moving. That will. Mm, huh? I couldn't move them. Um. Excuse me, sir. I was just, you know, feeling a bit curious about your taps there. Is there some kind of lock on them? Or something. I stop all them rowdy types trying to steal me beer. Where's <laughs> like special kind of lock? Only I can unlock when I go to pour. See? Oh, rats! Can we? Oh, you know what? Can we? No, I could hurt him. No, the beer. Grandpa told me that beer is really bad for you. Uh, please, 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 <laughs> let's do this one. Please, please take me to the lake. I'll be your best friend. Does that yeah, mean sure? Well, you're not invited to my birthday party then. I 
would never want him told me that to be at my birthday regardless. With how old he is compared to me? Your brain, it makes you angry, irate, and disgruntled. Mm. <sighs> Alright. Never... Okay, what about the taps? Aha, mm. <gasps> uh -huh. I'm getting good at this. All that practice is really paying off now. Oh, uh, now what? Ah, hmm. Maybe I can just... Mm, huh? Um, I... Is... Uh. Okay, sir. There's pipes here. I think I've done enough damage. Enough damage to that. Can we? I'm sorry, Mr. Bartender. Oh God! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Call for desperate measures. Oh God! Drained all the beer. I'll just quickly put these back the way they were. Okay, just so we don't like get caught, right? That's right, you're gonna be finished there, sir. You're gonna coincidentally run out of beer. I'm sorry there, Gil. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I don't know how to break this to you, Gil. So I'm just gonna say it. There's no more beer left. Uh -huh. so yes. <laughs> Yay! No more beer! You can help well, us now! Guess we'll just have to get going to the lake now, huh? <laughs> oh, God. He is so short! <laughs> Alright, listen carefully. Only saying this once. Lake. Straight down that way. Murderous thieves live that way to the north. But don't go there. They're murderous. Hence, murderous thieves. <laughs> the we came What's that mean? I'm mean, gonna get murdered or something like that? I don't get it. Questions? <laughs> well, just to be sure, I... Good. No questions, then. Bye. Alright, later, you drunken bastard. Who's this sad-looking guy, though? Uh, never mind. Guess I'll figure it out. Hopefully. Why is he so sad? Just looks like a great old tree stump. Not much to see with him sitting on it, really. The stringy They're all vines. Long and thin and stringy, like spaghetti. Can we mess with any of it? I should try something else. I'm not about to. Okay, let's talk with. Oh, it's oh, it's the blacksmith. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello there. You I'm sorry, I scared off your know. butterflies. This is I didn't mean a dangerous it. Place. So everyone keeps telling me, are, are you okay? Why are you out here all alone and sad, mister? <sighs> I'm hunting the beast that's terrorizing the village. Can't you tell? Mm, that, so that makes you sad and cry? This seems like a pretty sit nice on a tree place stump? with nice things. Are you sure it's around here? Uh, of course I'm sure. I'm a master huntsman, don't you know? No, I don't. I, I thought you were a blacksmith. Woods like the back of my hand. I just, I'm uh, tracking his uh, uh, trail, his scent and such, or something. <laughs> okay. Sure you are. You say so, I guess maybe, 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 right? He has a huge fucking nose, so. Can you tell me more about this beast? I don't know if I can, but maybe I can help somehow. Oh, is it the bear? That's very sweet of you, kid. But no. This is much too dangerous for you. But, but maybe if you just tell me. No means no, kid. <sighs> You're just like her, you know. Whoa, You're like just who? Like my own girl. Oh, uh, okay. Stubborn lot. Well, best let you get back to uh, whatever it is you're doing. Oh yes, focusing my um traditional tracking technique, or something. All right, dude. Happy hunting. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today here on Anna's Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.